When you enter this lighthouse, you're leaving the current calendar year and going back at least 100 years to the year 1916, the year that we have been working on to best represent what this lighthouse looked like. In 1916, 100 years ago, as this is being uh, shot, this lighthouse was only 50 years old. So you're going to be walking into a 50-year-old building this is the year 1916, and we will walk into the kitchen. This is a once-a-week ritual. Lighthouse is all sweaty. Just like the other ones, they get run on specific times. The lighthouse keeper will record exactly when he fires the lights up at night, and exactly when he extinguishes them in the morning, to keep copious records of how much oil was being consumed at that time. Of course, the, the heart of any lighthouse keeper's family was the family kitchen where the food was prepared. Here we have the kitchen range, which was in the lighthouse when we acquired it. It fires on coal, wood first, then coal to get baking temperatures. We have warming ovens, baking ovens, Hot water reservoirs over here. And of course, the weekly ritual of clothes ironing. The irons were heated on the stove itself. The iron comes off the stove. Make sure it's hot. And we got the clothes ironing. Oh, the iron has cooled off. What about that? We set this down, attach it to the other iron. We're ready to keep on working. Keeps the little woman busy all day that way, so she's not wasting time. Over here is the food preparation center. That is, we have the flour system right here. Oh, and good heavens, we have a kitchen timer. We better check that cake in the oven at 12 o'clock. So it's 11:15 uh, right now. So we will set the oven timer for 12 o'clock and keep an eye on the clock on the wall that we know when to check our cake. Of course, if you're going to roll out a pie crust, you need a little more space. The countertop pulls out conveniently on this Hoosier cabinet. You have a place to roll out a pie crust. Pies are out of the oven, of course. We have this convenient pie chest right here. Bread, which was baked at least twice a week, is kept in this metal drawer so we don't have to share it with the mice who inhabit the lighthouse along with the family. Naturally, you can't have a good we have the lighthouse in West Journey with a good cup of coffee. A nice coarse grind. Now this is boiling coffee. We don't want to boil on the stove. Whoop, we don't want to leave this on that hot stove, do we? We don't want to boil. Put in the coffee. Give it about three minutes to boil. Set the pot aside, and as soon as it stops boiling and it just begins to steep, if it can be spared, crack an egg and drop it into the pot. That helps the coffee go out to settle. We use a little extra protein in your morning coffee. The lighthouse was a very hospitable place. There are often dinner guests, so of course the good dishes are kept over here. These are not the everyday eating dishes, you understand? These are the good dishes. Along with the good silverware, which is stored in this little chest. I want to make the point that the Antioch and County Historical Society has been very pragmatic in its restoration. Everything in this kitchen works. Everything must be practical. Everything has to function. We can and do cook meals out here on occasion. 
Plus, when we cook meals out here, we have the refrigerator equipped with ice. A large cake of ice, which in the old days was harvested out of the Onondaga River, is kept here. 25 chunks of uh, pounds of ice might last about three days. The first domestic electricity was installed in this building in 1916. That's another reason why we chose 1916 as our target date. These light bulbs possibly look a little different than what you're used to seeing. This is where the pipette was broken off and these hand-blown bulbs were formed and filled with gas. But being a modern lighthouse, naturally we have running water. The water comes right out of Lake Superior. It's free of chlorine. Wonderful coffee. Saturday, of course, is bath day. We keep the bathtub conveniently stored right here behind the kitchen range because if the range is warm, so is the bathtub. 